All right, guys, I want to show you a couple things here. First, I want to show you my, my polisher. Okay, this has the uh, removable bonnet. This is, this is like Velcroed on. Um, it is variable speed. Here's the uh, adjuster back here. Nice thing about this, you can hold this with one hand. And there's also a T-grip for it too, or I should call it a, um, an H-grip. You know, that little bar that goes across here, but I'm going to keep this on. I didn't repolish my fenders yet. So, um, I got my battery tester. And I'll show you what it's doing. We'll start it up. I'll show you what it's doing. Okay, now it's reading 12.78 volts. Um, that battery tester, I think that was about... I think it was... Uh, Twelve ninety-five on Amazon. Now my battery has been on the trickle charger for at least twenty-four hours. Okay, let's start this up. Ignition on. Hit run twice. Now, I also, I did that, I did that run there before I turned this camera on, and it did go to, uh, I think, 14 and a half volts on the, um, on when I, I twisted the throttle. I don't know how much RPM that is. I'd have to put a, uh, I'd have to put a, uh, a meter on my ignition cable, which I, I, I have that, guys, somewhere around here on the where it is. But I could, uh, I could find out what my RPM is, and I can go on the big dog manual have and see what that's supposed to be putting out at a certain RPM. So I think my rectifier is good. I think it's good. Now, if I get a gel battery, they hold the charge for a long time. The Braille gel battery will actually hold its charge for a year without being on a battery tender, according to their website. So uh, let me go in the manual, and I'm going to see what the manual says. Now, according to the manual, my rectifier is good. 
The battery might be a little old. I might need a new battery. You know, um, I kind of, I would still like to kind of replace the battery because uh, the gel batteries hold longer. Although that AGM, that's um, something glass. I, I just I look I just looked at what AGM means, but uh, that is recommended for the bike. You know, now battery technology since 2006 went way up. So, you know, probably the uh, the gel battery is probably better. Now, let's take a closer look at what kind of battery I got. Okay. It's supposed to be for race use. Extreme use. That's AGM. Um, the cranking amps is 820. You can't even get these anymore, guys. Right now, they're not available. You know, if these were available, I'd get another one. As soon as they, as soon as they come available, I will get. I'd rather have a second one of these. These are, uh, I think they're 220. So, see off the battery, or off the battery charger, it went down a little bit already. Now, a gel battery will stay. That's the thing about a gel battery. It'll stay at that, at the 1311. So, we just want to make sure it's charged.